All right, guys, and welcome back to more East Memories of Celseta. And I love how the kick-ass music just started playing as soon as I got done with that intro. But anyways, welcome back. We just navigated our way to where we needed to go, which is the, I don't know, where. I guess this is where the hideout is of those masked men, and this is where the next dungeon is. So what I want to do before we go in there is make sure we are set and ready to go. Life ring, okay. Obtain SP when walking, that's really good. Obtain SP during aerial comments, that's really good because he re he really just when they're knocked up in it. I think these accessories actually count for the whole party because if you look at this, I almost called him Asbo. Adol, <laughs> Adol has obtain SP when walking, the courage card. But the thing is, I don't have to be playing with them for that to be working. Like, I could just be walking, right? And you can see my damn SP is recovering. So that's really good. So, I'm going to guess it's the same for the blue ornament. Obtain SP during aerial combos is why we're able to spam so many skills. Which is really good. I'm going to guess that's what, um, it, it affects the whole party. It, it allows uh, the whole party to have access to... Gaining SP during aerial combos is what I'm guessing. So that's really good. And everybody has decent equipment except for her. That's the I completely forgot to um refine her equipment. But you know that's fine. She's really good without it. She can just snipe the enemies from a far away and prepare the dodge or block, which is really ridiculous. She's really good. In my opinion, she's really good. But anyway, without further ado, let's start this off. Like, all the characters in this game seem really good. We're here. We call this place the Ancient Burrow. That seems like the perfect place to use as a hideout. Villagers would never notice them here. Let's go inside. Karna, what's wrong? I think they know we're here already. Someone's coming. The man with the mask. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Guess we just walked right into an ambush. It's like this is no time for scouting out the area, Adolf. Everyone, we'll come to rescue you. Let's go back home. Back to Komodo. Like, nah. I'd rather not. They pay us better here. Why don't you say something? Let's be cautious. We better be careful. This is just like when they attack Komodo. Could someone be controlling them? Why? Hold on. Looks like we can't just talk our way out of this one. Seems not. We have to stand and fight. Cover me, please. Denny near near. I'm just scoping the ass. Oh my god. God damn. Well, it stays in that area for how long? That's so broke. God damn. Why are you so broke, though? Why are you so broke, Karna? Their mask. There's no way normal people can be this strong. The masks definitely have something to do with it, but I have no idea how they work. Is that you, Karna? Ugh. Are you okay? No, oh, you kind of stabbed me and inflicted poison. I think I'm going to die. Guess that really was it. He's inside. Help. Who's inside? He's out cold. Let's go. But, but, Adol's right. There aren't any dangerous beasts or anything around, so they should be fine. Let's find the, uh, let's let them rest here and head inside. Okay, if you say so. They come back like five minutes later, they're all dead. Alright, what's this dungeon? I want to hear this dungeon's music. Hmm, let me guess her unique skill, right? 
Looks like a dead end. Wait, look at that. Looks like some kind of beast is... Some kind of beast cocoon. And, it, and it's only being supported by a single thread. I should be able to cut it down with one of my knives. Oh, I see. We cut it down, and we use it to walk across. I don't think I can hit it from here. The angle is all wrong. Let's try heading for higher ground. I see exactly where we need to go. Kinda uses their knives to cut down or cut through distant narrow objects. Alright, so that's a unique action. Uh, nice. She got kunais for days. Nice. Time to go into the earth dungeon. Oh yeah, she's really good here. If there's gonna be nothing but insects like this, he found poisonous, poisonous organ. Oh, that's what he found that was rare. I didn't see anything else that was rare. So all the dungeon music is gonna be the same. It, it sounds like. Oh yeah, busting up enemies, son. I'm, Chris I'm Christina V. Christina V, son, busting up enemies. Oh, wow, it's homing. Their attack is homing. It's really easy to dodge, I bet. Or perfect guard, I should say. Yeah, look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like there was some items over here. Look at this. A warrior Seal 1. What does that do? Dungeon music is really cool. Huh? Is that a... Oh, she already has it equipped. That's why she can equip it again. Okay. You can only equip one, one of the same item. Okay. Two, 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 two. Honey potion. Honey boo boo potion. Ooh. Killing enemies off screen. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, kid. Homing knives level two. Sweet. Alright, so right now I'm spamming skills to rank them up. And she's gonna level up her skills fairly quickly because she has the warrior seal. Area combos, some aerial combos, son. <laughs> Yo, we put that man in the loop. What did I tell you? Last episode, I told you about the uh, the aerial combos bullshit. Can we go through these small holes? It doesn't look like it. Oh, nice. Let's uh, set that. Mistral spin spins, creating a tornado that launches enemies upward. Uh, we need uh, Durin. It's locked. You gotta pick them locks, bro. Slate fragment. Oh no, we gotta collect slates again? In every dungeon, I guess we gotta collect slates. So let's be on the lookout for those slates. Let's backtrack to this area right over here. Can we go through this somehow? Nope, I guess not. Let's keep going through the dungeon. Woo! You missed. Woo! Gaining that SP. 
Oh damn it, I tried to perfect guard it. Leave me alone! Leave me alone, spider. Leave me alone. Alright, so far this this dungeon has been very uh linear. Compared to the first dungeon, the water dungeon, it was very it, this is uh linear. This is rare. The reason why we're finding so many rare items is because we have the party ability. When the members in the active party all have different types of attacks, we get the rare item ability. And if there's two party members in the party with the same attack type, they actually, um, nice. They give us a different ability that allows us to deal more damage. We have yet to have someone with uh, in our party that has the same attack type as another party member. We've all had different types of attack. Now if Ozma stayed with us, if we had Karna and Ozma, that would give us a, a party boost or you know a party a party ability to increase our attack. Oh man, these homing knives are just Oh my goodness, he is so good. Back at you. Alright, let's keep moving, guys. Woof! Running through this dungeon like easy mode. What's his name? Egorge. There we go. Look at this. What is this? Yellow stones. Look at the yellow stones we're getting. Oh my goodness. Them aerial combos. It's Marvel all over again. It's Marvel all over again. Oh my god. It's literally Marvel. It's Marvel, baby. So we have to get up to high ground and backtrack to this area, it looks like. I don't even think we might need to backtrack. We might get a shortcut once we get a little bit further into the dungeon. So you might as well skip these guys. They're not gonna pose any threat to us. Hmm. We might need to knock something down, it looks like, just to get up there. Yep. My turn. Let's go. Oh, look at that! Those things are filled with water, it looks like. Alright, we want to touch that monument. We don't want to cut that last one. Oh, I guess we do gotta cut the last one. Alright. <laughs> I take it back. I guess we do need to cut the last one. Uh, get out of here. Uh oh. We didn't do it, bro. Oh man, we're in for some shit. But guess what? We can spam skills. Um, as soon as I get up there, Mystic Art. How do I get up there? That's interesting. Did I shoot something else at it? Ah, oh, what the hell is my problem? Okay. You know what happened? I was pushing X. And I was trying to like dash onto the surface, but the thing what I didn't realize was What I didn't realize was that I was actually diving and not swimming towards it 
So I just missed this chest. Can I get it with somebody else? Damn it, I fucked up that chest, yo. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do it, because I thought I had to hit the other one. Did it despawn? Yes, it despawned. Swallow amulet. Sweet. Alright, at least they allowed me to uh, get that chest by walking in and out of a new area. Leave it to me. Boss time. Or should I say mini boss time. The Purgatorial Hornet. Meldrabee. Meldrabee. Metabots! <laughs> Woo! Lighten your life up! Oh, heavy. I gotta... Watch this. Woo! Yo! You getting raped! Too slow, buddy. As long as you can dodge, you're good. Oh yeah, it's over. Everybody just go in on his life. He should be using stun raid. I don't know what he was doing. Whenever they're stunned like that, he should use stun raid. This dude is giving up. I think this guy just gave up when I switched to Adol. Woo, he gave up. He gave up when I switched to Adol. He went to a really predictable pattern. Wow. He gave up. It's like, oh, man, he switched to Adol, man. He's going to fucking cheat, man. Wait, which way didn't we go yet? I'm going to guess this way. Looks like we might be getting another artifact soon. We might be able to go through the, t t the small holes, I bet. We're gonna be with this artifact. I'm calling it right now. We're gonna be able to go through small holes. The dwarf bracelet. I called it. You all owe me five thousand dollars. You can donate to my PayPal. <laughs> Yo, y'all owe me money. When equipped, the party shrinks and can move through small passages. Beware, however, this the party strength and defense are greatly reduced in this state. Oh, that's bad. All right, so we have to equip the dwarf bracelet. Oh my god, this is really bad. I don't know what we got ourselves into though. That's why I switched to Adol. I'm not confident. You know what? I'm gonna switch back to uh, Karna. She has long range. We do less damage, too. They weren't joking. Now, let's go in here. Let's not waste our time. We might want to not spend our time fighting when we're small. We might want to try to avoid as much as we can. So can we go, can we go big mode in here? All right. So let's try to avoid fights. Oh, man, and they move slower, too. Can you believe it? What's in here? There might be a slate in here. Gotta get that lumber. Gotta get that lumber, lumber. Reminds me of the Legend of Zelda Diminished Cap. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we gotta switch that artifact right now. Woo! That would have been bad. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Show cracker. Show cracker. Hmm. 
can't swim in a tree. Or can we? Nope. There's four paths we can take. We can take a path up here, but we have to be small. Alright, so this dungeon is not very linear anymore. <laughs> Once we got that artifact, so many possibilities opened up. Alright, so let's go through this way first. I can tap the screen to access the artifact really quick so I don't have to uh, open a menu. I can just tap it. That's cool. Alright. Leave me alone! Evasive mode. Alright, so I put him in evasive mode. I don't want to spend time fighting these guys. We're, we're on a already good level looks like I'm gonna have to fight these guys well that one at least this guy there we go damn it this little guy right here oh my god we talk so much damage from that little guy bitter potion nice those potions heal 500 Rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground, roll, roll, rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground, rolling, rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground, rolling on the ground. Oh my goodness! Hopefully, I'm not going the right way. I want to get all the chests possible, but it looks like I keep going the right way. Turn it off. Grow big. Oh, look at this. This is where the slate room is. But it's a good thing that we came here, so we can warp here once we find another, uh... Once we find another monument, we know exactly where to go once we get all the slates. So right now, all we gotta do is get all the slates and, uh... Come to this room. Alright. So how many slates do we need? Is what I wonder. This is just like the other day, uh, door we found. Has the same kind of hole in it too. I guess it's open the same way. Yeah, we need three pieces. We need three pieces. So we already got one piece. So this is the end. So this is the place, um, that monument is called the Inn, I guess. So keep that in mind, everybody. The monument I just touched is the Inn Monument. So it's a good thing that I actually went over there instead. At least I know where the uh, last part is. Right, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. I love saying that. We can sell the silver ore for a greater price. Or we can sell it for a decent price, I should say. Alright, so let's go big mode. Oh yeah, let's definitely go big mode before we get wrecked. We almost got wrecked by this spider. No weakness he had. All right. Now before we knock that over, let's see what's down here first. I guess we have to knock it over. All right, let's knock it over. <laughs> oh wow, what was that? You seen that? She attacked and knocked that down at the same time. How is that possible? She shot two knives. What does she think she is? Who does she think she is? Itachi? Kick? Nice! That's the second fragment we needed. Alright, let's see if we can get the third one before we end off on this video. Oh yeah! This one's poison! Alright, go! These guys are not attacking. Let's 
Heavy should go away immediately after you're done with that encounter. I'm just saying though. And there's another path. There's a lot of paths you can take here. Oh no, the battery level is going low. Yeah, that's bad. Yo, I've been playing the crap out of my Vita lately. Like it's not even it's not even a joke. I've been playing it a lot. Alright, let's go this way. Maybe it's an optional area with some goodies. Have I been here before, it looks like? Mmm, slam dunk on him. Alright, let's go, let's go. Try to evade as much as possible. Yeah, we've been over here before. Yeah, we certainly have. So I guess that's a good thing. Um. Hmm. That way we would literally just be walking out again. It's done. It's so weird. I got lost already. There's the monument over there. I know exactly where that monument leads to. Through here. This is like, this is good because we can loop around. We can loop around to the other hole we need to get to. Yep. Oh shit. Let's wait till we get closer to the wall. Now we can go dwarf mode. Here we go. Rolling. Now there was one more hole we didn't even go through through uh, in this area. It was like three holes we could have went through, but we haven't went through one of them. Not that one. There's one more. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Alright, unequip. It should have been one more hole. Yup, all the way over here. Alright guys, I'm going in. You guys can handle that. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, not today, guys. I ain't got time for all that. Alright, so it looks like it looped us back into this one area. Which is good, I guess. Makes sense. So, there was a, there was a room with four paths in it. You remember that one? I think we took the east path. So, right here, I think we took the east path. All right, time to go big. Take care of these guys. Uh, get wrecked. Damn, she is spamming. Did you see that? All right, so what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to save the game. Take a short break, and once we come back, we will be back with more East Memories of Celsetta. We'll probably be finished with this dungeon next episode, so I will see you guys later. <laughs>